Hey guys, it's me Tolha. In this video, we will be modeling this facade design in Revit. This tutorial is for beginners. I will be sharing with you how easily you can create this complex looking facade design in Revit. Let's get started. As you can see, I have created this uh, six story building here using the curtain walls. Now to create such facade design, we are going to use curtain panel family. We are going to create two curtain wall panel families. So let's go to file, new, family. Here I'm working in imperial units. So I will go to English imperial folder. If you are working in metric units, you can use a family template from this English folder here. Here we need to look for a curtain wall panel template. Here we have it, curtain wall panel. Let's open this up. Now here let's go to left view and create the extrusion. So let's select extrusion and i'm going to create a line here like this then we'll create another line in the middle one foot and just join that here and let's create another one on this side and delete this one we don't need that anymore now let's click finish and let's go to the exterior elevation and here we have the extrusion which we have just created let's select this reference plane and put uh, one foot here because we want to create a two feet extrusion so it should be divided on these two sides so if i put one foot here it will update on this side as well and we will get total two feet here now we want to create two more reference planes here because uh, if you see this we have a little gap between each of these segments so we need to put that gap in the uh, in this uh, curtain panel family we cannot create that gap in uh, in the project we need to create that in this uh, curtain panel family so let's create two more reference planes here just select this one press c as on the keyboard to create similar and i will create this at three inches three inch on this side as well because we want to create a six inch gap between each segments or each panel so when we create another curtain panel family we'll put three inch gap in the other family as well and uh, we'll get total six inches gap uh, between each segment you will understand in a moment what i'm trying to say here anyway let's lock these reference planes so to lock this reference plane at a certain distance we need to uh, create a dimension so press di on the keyboard and create this dimension and just click this little lock icon to lock this reference plane at three inches with this one let's do that here as well create a dimension and lock it perfect now let's select this extrusion and drag this to this reference plane here and lock uh, the extrusion as well repeat that on this side as well just lock it perfect so if i go to 3d you see we got this uh, extrusion here or, or this curtain panel ready now we can assign a material parameter to this just select that and click here and then click here to create a new material parameter so we'll just call it cp01 or curtain panel 01 let's click ok ok again and let's save this family go to file save as family let's save that here cp01 and let's save it now we can use the same curtain panel family to create a new one with a different shape so let's go to left view here and i'm going to select this extrusion edit extrusion and let's select all and just move it to the center here and then we can just uh, close that from this side and use tr just trim this line and delete this one now let's select this profile and mirror dm to mirror this perfect and we need to fill it these two lines otherwise we will not be able to create this extrusion if i click finish you see will get this error lines cannot intersect each other so we need to join these two lines using fillet arc let's select this one and then this and just create a small arc here perfect click finish and let's go to 3d see we got something like this 
Now I think this one already has a, a material parameter because we have created earlier. If you want to apply a different material to this curtain panel, you can create a new one. I'm not going to do that. So let's leave it as it is. And then let's save this family. If, uh, if I go to exterior view, you see all the parameters are already uh, created here. We don't need to do any changes here. Let's uh, save this file. Let's go to file, save as family and we'll call it curtain panel 2 let's click save so both of these families are now ready let's close this family editor and go back to our project now let's create a curtain wall here so let's go to level 2 and select wall and select a storefront from here and we want to create this curtain wall from level 2 to level 6 let's create that here like so let's go back to 3d perfect we got this curtain wall here now to replace these panels we first want to load the curtain panel families which we have just created so let's go to insert load family and here we have these two families let's load both of these into our project let's select this curtain wall and uh, edit type we first want to create a duplicate of this let's call it facade and in the vertical grid spacing we want to put two feet which is the width of the panel which we have just created and the horizontal uh, grid spacing should be eight feet and the curtain panel should be uh, cp01 and uh, we don't want to create any mullions so let's remove all just select none from here remove the horizontal mullions as well let's click ok delete mullions there you go now let's replace these panels with uh, other uh, panel family which you have just created so to select this we just need to hover over this panel hit tab key a couple of times to highlight this panel and then right click select panels and here we want to replace all the vertical panels so let's select along a vertical grid here just click all the vertical panels are now selected just unpin them then replace them with the other curtain panel family there you go let's repeat that with the other panels here as well so just hover over this panel right click select panels along vertical grid and then uh, we can repeat that here as well just highlight this panel by pressing tab key hold control key click it then right click select panels along vertical grid and let's quickly repeat that on these panels here as well Once you have selected all, unpin them, then replace them with the uh, other panel family. Perfect. So we have created this cool looking uh, facade uh, design in Revit. If you want, you can increase the width of these panels. Let's put three feet here. Perfect. So that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll try to model another complex looking structure uh, in Revit stay tuned for that that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my revit advanced courses and yeah i will see you guys in the next video